So the podcast is called Turned On. I think the title is kind of self-explanatory, and every single day we're going to talk about things that, well, turn people on. So where do you want to begin today? I think we need to talk about lesbians. Sure. Sure. I, I, you know, besides the fact that it is one of the top five most common male sexual fantasies and most used porn. And it used to be the thing mm-hmm. that all of the uh, the phone sex people did. Apparently besides men, <laughs> lesbians have the best orgasms because they've got the prolonged foreplay. And so, you know, if you take a page out of their book, prolonged foreplay, prolonged foreplay, prolonged foreplay. I don't, I don't know why there's no bus ads that say that. I really don't get that. But because anyway. people would complain and God forbid people <laughs> complain. Sue God McCarthy. Forbid. Prolonged foreplay really works for most women and they have the best chance to have the extended orgasm. So, so, you know, generally women have a longer orgasm than men and lesbians have the longest of all of them. So more, better, prolonged foreplay, I'm thinking, okay. And they have the lowest STI rate, right? The transmission of women to women is very low, very, very low. So There's all of that going on. The only downside about lesbian sex, besides the fact that if you're straight, you kind of sometimes go, I'd like an appendage, but they have strap-ons. They're not the real thing, but they do help in a pinch, um, is something called lesbian bed death, which is a thing. I've seen it a lot in my- bed death? So so imagine you're living with your best friend, your lover, your partner. Right. And if you put women together in an office, what happens? They all start menstruating on the same day. (laughs) <laughs> anybody, anybody who's lived, I lived in a house and we all had a sign on the door for the guys coming to visit. This is D-Day. Do not come in. Wow. So it was, it was, you all start and you, some people, you know, start, you know, they, they come early, they get their period early. Some people later and you all start to synchronize over a year. It's it, like, uh, it happens. So why is that? The What's the medical reasoning behind that? It's pheromones. So it's scent. And women start to get into sync. So we're all ovulating at the same time, right? Million years of evolution. So that way, I don't know, the, you know, because we're 2% different than great apes. The big silverback comes in and impregnates everybody. I don't know. I'm suspecting it's something like that. But the, but the truth is having lived it, it absolutely is a thing. So what happens is they feel, you know, they all start, it starts to be cuddly and then it's less about passion. And beyond that, what is less about passion is the closer you are as a couple, whether this is straight or gay couples, the worse the sex is. It doesn't stand to reason, but but fire requires air. And the more distant, the more surprised, the more the more things that you are more uncertainty, the hotter the sex. So you can have hotter sex with a one night stand than with your best friend. And Not is always. that kind of not When you hear of people seeking affairs, that's what they like, is that heat that seems to have disappeared. It's that conquer, for lack of a better word, right? The old caveman analogy, if you will. That and and people who, yeah, it's usually a need that's being met. I always say it's usually more or different. They want more sex or they want different sex. Yep. But often it's about needs being met, that they're just feeling they're not heard. They want attention. They want crazy wild monkey sex. They want that passion back that they used to have. And it's either you have an affair with your partner or you meet at the skanky motel and dressed in a, you know, a, a, just a, a CD trench coat, or you, people have affairs or you try different things to create heat. But I tell people one of the hot, the hardest things to do is to keep things hot, spicy and connected five, 10, 20 years into a relationship. Yes, it is. And we will get into those conversations, I'm sure, as we continue on with our podcast called Turned On. Now, (laughs) one of the things we'd love is to address individuals' questions. We'll keep you anonymous. How do they get an email to you, Sue? Sue at sexwithsue.com. I would love, love to get your emails. That would be awesome. 